Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again. And before I get into this video, can I just say a big, big thank you to all my subscribers and any new subscribers that might have recently joined. Welcome aboard. It's really appreciated and really does help my channel to bring you some reviews on some lovely places you might like to visit and occasionally some not so lovely places that you might not like to visit. Anyway, moving on gracefully. Have you ever been to Kenya? Or more to the point, have you ever tried Kenyan food? Well, you're in for a lovely surprise today because I've decided to visit the Kenyan kitchen. Probably one of the few restaurants in London that actually serves traditional, authentic East African food. I am so excited about this one. So, without further ado, come on, let's go and check this place out. Okay, so I am just about to enter the Kenyan kitchen restaurant and I've got a little surprise up my sleeve because one thing these lovely people don't know is that I do actually speak fluent Swahili. Keep watching, this could be interesting. One more. And Kenyan kitchen, here we come. I'm in the Kenyan kitchen. Fantastic, lovely little kitchen. A little bit funny about me filming in here. It's a shame because it's such a beautiful little restaurant. Beautiful food, grill going on, chicken. Oh, all oh, looks so absolutely delicious. Anyway, I'll take my seat. And see what I'm all that. More bites. I am actually looking for some traditional Kenyan food. We've got matoke here, which is um, bananas, basically, traditional bananas. Pilao nyama, which is, again, Indian influenced. Kuku stew, which is chicken stew. Sukuma nyama, basically that's sukuma wiki and meat, which is a traditional Kenyan dish. Chef special lamb stew. Uh, drinks menu, I don't really want to look at that. Anything else on here? Sauteed cabbage, giveri, which is a kikuyu dish. Managwe and uh, yamazi. Beans with the, uh, basically that's uh, sweet corn and beans. Fantastic dish. Sukumawiki, which means push the week. Tradition, another traditional Kenyan dish. Uh, lamb shoulder, lamb shoulder, lamb shoulder, chicken wings. Uh, you've also got vegan options. A toke stew, which is a banana stew, vegetable curry. Yeah, all looking pretty good. Mbuzi choma, that means nyame ya choma, which is basically goat, uh, barbecue goat. Mamba platter, 
That looks interesting. $7.95. Quarter chicken, lamb shoulder, goat ribs. Oh, $47.95. I think I'll give that a miss. So I think I'm going to go for the Mbuzi Choma because that is traditional uh, Kenyan food. I don't know if they've got any Ugali and Skumawiki. No, I don't really know. Anyway, there you have it. I'll let you plow through that yourselves. Some chapati. Oh, they've got Ugali there for four pound. So I think I'm going to go for... Um, well, I don't really know yet. I'm going to have a quick look at this menu and decide. Okay, so Eunice did not want to be uh, filmed on camera, which is fair enough. Uh, I can totally appreciate that. But I've decided to order the uh, Sukuma Wiki and Ugali and the Nyama Yachoma. Now, if you've ever been to Kenya, you will know that Nyama Yachoma is a traditional Kenyan dish. It's basically goat, uh, barbecued goat. Normally pretty chewy. You'd be interested to see how they do it here. And Sukuma Wiki is also a very traditional Kenyan dish. Um, it's basically means Sukuma Wiki means push the wheat and Ugali, which they reckon Kenya was built on Ugali because they say it gives you Ugali gives you strength. You really don't want too much of it, otherwise you will be um, hemorrhaging in the toilet, so to speak, without being too crude. But yeah, Ugali and Sukuma Wiki and Yami Choma, That's what I've ordered traditional Kenyan dishes and guess what I've even got a bottle of Tusker now that is a traditional Kenyan beer Tusker oh. it's like being back on safari again my Swahili food has arrived have a look at this. There's your nyama yachoma with this salad called kachumbari. Sukuma wiki, which is basically um, greens, kale, similar to that. And ugali. Now, the traditional way to eat this is with your hands, and that is exactly what I am going to do. So what you do is grab a little bit of this ugali, which is bloody hot. Take a little bit of sukuma wiki, like so. And down the hatch. That is about as authentic as it comes. Absolutely delicious, divine. Oh. So good, hot, but well worth it. Oh. So it's time to try my nyama yachoma, which is basically goat ribs with some kachumbari salad. You know what? I'm just gonna break this off. As expected, it is a little bit tough. I'm gonna have that with a little bit of ugali. 
a little bit of skumawiki. flavor I mean to be honest with you the average Brit probably wouldn't be too appreciative of this because it is a bit chewy but traditionally that's the way it is damn good that good shit. Oh my god, I am in heaven. This is just so damn good. Gorgeous. Oh, a little bit of your garlic. Wiki. So this Kachumbari salad. I think that's Sunday. 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 Just told her, you just bought me a knife and fork and I basically said, this kind of food always tastes good eating with your hands. And I'm not lying, it's finger licking good. Oh my god. Kenyan kitchen in Edgware. Let's not make it any more painful than what it already is. To begin with, the food, delicious. Nyame Ochoma, couldn't ask for better. The Sukuma Wiki, so authentic, just how it should be. Ugali, delicious. Really made me feel like I was back in Kenya. And to top it off, a bottle of Tusker, traditional Kenyan beer. Excellent. The restaurant itself, well, really well decorated and uh, yeah, it certainly has that Kenyan appeal about it. Anyone who watches my videos knows that I am 100% honest on my reviews. I don't say things just for the sake of clickbait or getting subscribers. I don't need to do that. I don't. I say it how it is, truthfully mainly for your sake. I take it on the chin so you don't have to. My bill came out to 37 quid. 37 quid for those three bits of food and a tusker. 37.41 actually. £8.50 for the Sukuma Wiki. That's for the greens. £8.50 for that little small bowl of greens. Now, you could turn around and say, well, that is Sukuma Wiki, which is imported. No, I can get that down in Brixton Market for a pound for a kilo. There ain't no need to charge eight pound 50 for that. 
it's actually called Tukuma Wiki, which in Swahili means push the wheat because it is a poor man's um, vegetable. It's what they traditionally eat in Kenya, you know, because the poor people don't have money to spend on meat and things like that. So Ugalian Skuma Wiki is a traditional poor man's dinner. And to charge eight pound, uh, eight pound 50 for that little small bowl of greens, nah, I'm really sorry, but that don't cut it for me. And then to top it off, a four pound 16 service charge. Now, I don't know about you, but there's one thing I absolutely hate, is service charge. Ever I go somewhere and they put service charge on the menu, I'm walking straight out. On this particular occasion, I'll be honest, I didn't check the menu before I uh, ordered. I just literally ordered the food and didn't look at the prices. And there you have it, a little bit of a learning curve for you. Wherever you go now, check the prices before you order. 37 pound odd for that i'm really sorry but it actually ruined my meal and uh do you know what food really nice if you want to go there definitely go and visit it food really nice service not bad um restaurant well decorated but definitely take out a bank loan jesus christ be jesus that really hurt Anyway, thanks for watching Chef's Travels. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.